Hey, my name's Adum. I make natural hair videos on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Make sure you follow me at Adumi. So I, I DM'd you. I, I DM'd you okay. first, the first time. Was it on TikTok or Instagram? Instagram. Okay. After seeing her work, I wanted to get my hair silk pressed. I saw her work. I fell in love. I had to DM her. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how it kind of came mm. about. She told me to come in for a hair evaluation for her to see my hair. She was like, oh, we have a lot of hair, <laughs> a lot to deal with. Um, so yeah, we booked to do a collab in like November. But I went to Ghana and then it just kept going push back, push back, push back. We're in um, August next year. <laughs> uh, but you know, better late than never. And I think we're going to make an amazing video. So yeah, it's gonna let's be get into it. She's got that Ghanaian hair. Yeah, Come that Ghanaian hair, man. I don't know what you guys eat, but all my Ghanaian hair. It's the fufu. Right? <laughs> it's the fufu. Yeah, it can't be. We all eat fufu. How's it only Ghanaians uh, have hair? What's going maybe on? Maybe it's the bank food there. Yeah. We don't really eat it, but like that. Shout out to my Nigerian stuff. I know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's plenty. Mm. This is my hair. It looks so thicky. Guys, I used to relax my baby hairs. I don't advise that. Oh, I, I used to do the same. Yeah. Because it just makes it easier, isn't it? So much easier. Mm. And when you want to do a ponytail, that's slick. Yeah. My edges are 4C, so yeah. if you know about that. You, you know, know what I do? Um, texture release now. Instead oh. of relaxer. Because it, so it goes back to curly. Mm hmm. Like, is this the comb that you're using in your hair? Yeah. Some, like anything like really? that. Really? Yeah. Does it not rip out your hair? Um, we start from, I'm not gonna lie, we don't know. We just start from the bottom and work our way up. Bottom. Right, what, what, what would you wow. suggest? A paddle brush? Yeah. But don't you think that the closer Ooh. it is, the more hair it drags out? Because it's small. Because they're small. No, but it's better. Because the hair you're trying to get out is the dead hair. Oh, is that so why we come That's why your hair ends. If, if your hair gets knotty when you're washing, it's because the dead hair is still in there. Yeah. Yeah. Tips, so, tips, guys, tips. But you've got to know when to do it though. Sometimes your hair's like, sometimes their hair's better when it's, because um, some people their hair's better when detangled when it's wet. Yeah, yeah, that's my hair. Yeah, some hair's better when it's dry. You just got to know your hair. My yeah. hair's better wet and conditioned. So when it's wet, you're able to like. If it's dry, it will fight you until yeah. you put water on it. Yeah. I have different textures in my hair. So, um, perimeter is 4C and the inside is like a 4B. I know people don't like hair typing, but I personally feel like it helps. It helps you understand. It definitely hair. helps. It, it does. Definitely so, helps. what do you think your hair type is? Definitely 4C around the perimeter and 4B in the middle. If you want to stretch it, then 4A, but okay. it's 4B. But you know, you know, hair typing is just your curl pattern. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. explain your actual hair. Yeah, it doesn't it explain the porosity no. or anything. No. So, do you know the other stuff? Yeah, I have low porosity hair. Okay. So, I so what's that? The one that drinks water or doesn't drink water? Doesn't drink doesn't. water. So, you have to create it an environment yes, yeah. for it to absorb moisture and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you do? What's your routine? I like to steam. Okay. Like are you a wig steam. girl or are you not? I'm a wig girl. Uh, 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 wig and the HD. cameras that that, that 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 we keep in for time. Yeah. But, oh, you're them, one of them. This is just came up of my cornrows. Mm. How, how long were the cornrows in? Boy. I'd like to know that information myself actually. Yeah, so not too long. She doesn't want to too long. Not 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 too long. For they think I'm dirty. <laughs> That's what, to be yeah, fair, you, know, you, know, you know the myth that dirty hair grows, is that true? Because I feel like my hair grows dirty. It's not that it's dirty, it's just growing in its own oils. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sebum. Yeah, it's mm. growing in its own oils and you're not touching it. You're not manipulating You're not manipulating it. Most people have long hair, it's because they don't manipulate their hair. I don't do hair. nothing. You don't yeah, is your hair long? Yeah. Oh, no, the thing is you're Ghanaian. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's what establish is this? that. What is this? What is this? Ghanaians have long no, hair. No, you guys have, it doesn't matter what you do My hair, hair wasn't always long, you know. I was struggling shoulder length for years. Show the length. Show the, you know I can many, show you pictures. Do you, know, do you know how many of us are still at four, oh, that's four inches? <laughs> well, the Ghanaian minimum is show the length. So but no, I was there true. for years though. And okay. It was terrible. I was, if I could insert pictures and, yeah. and send them to you, I'd I think you. I saw a bit of your hair journey on your really, YouTube channel. Really? It was so bad. Like, really? It was really bad. It what was, was really bad? The, my hair before. Mm. It looked Do you still document scary. your hair on YouTube? Um, not on YouTube a lot, but I would start. I'll okay. start. You'll start. I'll use this video to this start. This is gonna him. be your. Yes. <laughs> I like the that the camera's facing my face head on.
Yeah. yeah. So do you normally put treatments in your hair? Yeah, I do, but I make them myself, like, as in from scratch, like oil phase, water phase, emulsifiers. You said oil phase, what is that? So phase. when you're making conditioners, there's two phases. Ah. You need to boil them up to the same point mm -hmm. with the emulsifier in the oil phase and you blend them together and it literally creates a conditioner. And you Where did you put, learn this? I learned it from, I took some chemistry course, really? <laughs> formulation for course. your hair? Yeah. Oh wow. Because I'm allergic to like a lot of products. Okay. So when I was growing my hair, um, I bought all these store-bought products. Yeah. Wasn't helping me, my hair was not growing, it was even breaking off. I said, you know what, let me try this like natural thing. And start making things myself. Oh. And so what? There, what just... are your allergies like? Hair, what I, hair products? I don't know. And even like shea moisture, the popular ones. As I nothing was working, yeah. my scalp will be itchy. Okay. 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 <laughs> it will be itchy if mm. it's not like a raw organic oil. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Will be itchy. Because some people are allergic to the natural stuff. Yeah. So like actually, me, coconut yeah. oil makes my scalp very itchy and dry. Oh, really? Castor oil. Oh, aloe vera made mine. Really, really aloe vera. Itchy. See, mine is coconut oil and castor oil. See, everybody has their yeah. own thing. This is why yeah. sometimes even following somebody's routine. routine. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that on YouTube. I know. It? You have to find what yeah. actually works for your I heard hair. now the new one is the onion, some onion thing. Oh my gosh, I've seen that. That's not happening though. It's there was things. rice water. Yeah. That, that face. I don't think that was good because rice water is just a lot of protein and if you're protein sensitive your hair is yep. going to break off but making me angry you know yeah <laughs> it's but making the, me angry but have I, you heard of the chibi powder and everything oh chebe i've got you know i've had chebe in my house for like two is months is it good two years sorry but, oh, two years. <laughs> i keep saying i'm gonna try because a lot of clients ask me about these things because mm. they see it on youtube and i'm like okay let me try it first yeah i've never tried it it's just been sitting in my cupboard i don't blame you but people swear by chebe because they, they say that it, it originates from one village in the Chad. Yeah, and their hair's and down the hairs, to the and floor. And I've seen it, like, their hair's down to the yeah. floor. Thick, but, healthy, down to the floor. Yeah. But think about it, they're not manipulating their hair no. that much. They're just, you they know. They wake up, walk around, mm -hmm. hunt or something, and mm -hmm. go back to sleep. That's it. Hunt, you know. <laughs> yeah. It looks like they hunt. Is that racist? I don't think the women are hunting. <laughs> it's not racist okay. to say that. <laughs> I don't think the women are hunting though. But well, I know what you not. mean. They're homemakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. not they're not doing Instagram reels and all of that. No, like no, us. no. They're, they're just not. chilling and looking after their children. Exactly. What a nice life, you know. Honestly. Sometimes that piece is what you need. Mm -hmm. Can you see the different textures coming? No, not yet. Not yet. Do you think your textures are different everywhere though? Because I'm just seeing, to me, it's one. Really? At the moment. Okay, maybe I haven't got there yet. Also, I've got gloves on, so I can't feel your texture uh, yet. But later, yeah. when I start Even drying, some is like a bit smooth, some is rough. Yeah, <laughs> it's, po it's possible. It happens a lot with Afro hair. Yeah. Sometimes the texture is just not consistent no. all over. Do you ever feel like we need to treat different parts of your hair a bit differently? My hair is consistent, I'd say it's mm. tough everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I never, have to, I never have to do that, but my clients tell me they do that all the time. So mm. they'll use like, they'll have different portions. Maybe the front is 3C or whatever, and the back is 4A, <laughs> and then they'll just be doing different things for different areas. So there are some products that you can use on it, on all over the head. So for example, I tend to, when I'm doing silk press, yeah. I tend to use Olaplex a lot because okay. I find it's the one brand that I can use on anyone's hair mm. and it works. Um, so yeah, you, even if you're white and you come to me, I'll use all the because I know it's going to work in your yeah. hair, but it works on all, all types of Afro That's hair. Good though. I'm not even trying to promote them because they ain't paying me to say this, but it's the truth. Like, they should it's the one you. brand. They should come and yeah, sponsor me. Sponsor her. How many times have I used Olaplex uh -huh. in the videos? They Free promo. And, they need to come and pay me. But um, yeah, you've got to find products that you can use all over the head so that you're not having to spend so much money buying things or you just make them like you make them yourself yeah i do be making my own products it's good. i want to learn how to formulate shampoos but i feel like it's a bit unnecessary but i still want to learn it's how not to unnecessary <laughs> really? I, I even feel like shampoo is probably one of the easiest things to formulate really? i think conditioners are more difficult really yeah because with shampoo you can use things like um Castor, is it cast? Oh, what's that? Um, castor soap. Oh, that's what I that's use. Actually. That's the that base. Dr. Yeah, it's, thing. it's rough on <laughs> yeah. the hair though. It, no, on some hairs. I used the um, the 
the baby one. Does it? It doesn't need diluting. There's one that doesn't need diluting. Yeah. yeah. A lot of shampoos have that as a base. Oh. Yeah. Once you get the mixing of the moisturizing agents in right, it's. I don't think it'll be that hard to make a shampoo. But conditioners. Oh, you think about it. Most companies, their con their shampoos are fine. It's the conditioners. It's conditioner. It's the conditioner. Yeah. Oils are easy to make. Oh yeah, <laughs> my, Very my easy. sister has a hair care line actually. Oh really? That's, yeah, Afro What's it called? Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah. I know them very well. Yeah, Afro I know them very well. She started at uni by mixing oils, and then it yeah. got business partner. Now the brand is really, it's really expanded. And now I really like them. Yeah. Like I follow a lot of what they do. Actually, yeah. yeah. I was really inspired by it because it seems similar to like what what I did. Yeah. And, and they it's like, important they're so that cute and they always wear their afros out so cute yeah they're, they're all about the natural <laughs> yeah, i feel like if you have a natural hair care brand i feel like you should you gotta represent yeah, your you brand have to, yeah you have to <sighs> this is why i'm trying to wear my hair natural but it's hard though it's easier it's said hard. than done it's easier said than very done. very much so and i think we've only just got to a stage in the uk where we're embracing natural hair I know. for so long it was when i was in school everybody had a relaxer of course can we go into the workplace with our natural hair without it looking unprofessional yet? Well, they, exactly. <laughs> to them, it's unprofessional. So then we just start feeling that we need to look exactly. professional. But what is professional? What is that look? I don't know. <sighs> let, me not start bring, let me not start this conversation. Today, yeah. Man. <laughs> Sometimes I feel confident with my natural hair, but I also feel like I like the switch up too. And it's nothing yeah. to do with how I look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. want to have a ponytail that's do long down crazy. to my back. I feel and you do you know what's crazy? I feel like I like the middle part slick back. There's one go-to hairstyle mm -hmm. with my yeah, natural hair. Fans. Middle part slick back. <laughs> However, like who wants to be putting products on their hair every single day? Yeah. It's long. Yeah. And yeah. I like the fact a sleek look is just different. It yeah. goes with the dress. Yeah. Sometimes the curly waves yeah. go with the outfit. And I think that's the benefit of us having Afro hair. We can mm -hmm. do that switch up. Mm -hmm. But society will tell you you're trying to be white, you're trying to do this, you're trying, trying to, to look professional. Anything. Sometimes I'm not trying to be anything. I'm I just like the hairstyle. Exactly. That bit's done. Aww. Finally. Yeah, your curls are curly. <laughs> curl, curl. Yeah. Your hair wants to be curly. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't actually want to be straight. straight. No, it doesn't want to be straight. We're forcing it by adding exactly. heat and doing all of that. And you're straightening it. It wants to go like this and curl up yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My clients that have that who don't really care about curls, they get like texture release. Because the texture release, it coats the hair. Oh. and stop stuff that free from it's keratin based okay yeah. so is it like a keratin treatment it is the, the texture release is actually keratin but i think it's because it's branded under texture release people think it's different mm. but it's just keratin that's formulated for afro hair okay so that's still cool. it's not as harsh as what we know keratin to be mm. do people say that their curls come back or do people have problems? it does come back it's supposed to come back let me say it's supposed to come back yeah. after four months but it really depends oh. on the state of your hair before you get it done okay. so if you always straighten your hair and you get a texture release you're less likely to see your natural afro again but if you've never straightened your hair or you don't really put heat in your hair and you get a texture release and you don't overdo it with the maintenance in mm -hmm. terms of heat Within four months, you start to see your natural hair come back. So with my hair in the state, do you think it would come back or do you feel like it would I think you stay straight? I think your hair would come back, but you might not get your exact afro back. Mm. That's why it's called the texture like release. Some people like that, but some people want their natural hair, True. but they just want it to be manageable. Yeah. So it depends. You, if you do a texture release with heat, you won't get your your natural afro back because it's it's released your texture which okay. is what it's supposed to do so yeah it's possible to do a texture release without straightening your hair and just have the effects of you know your hair being easier to manage rather than the texture itself changing completely <laughs> is this the last one? Mm -hmm. Oh wow I've done a great job thank you yeah. okay Okay, that temperature.
to be careful with your hair because it because of the tangling, the potential for mm -hmm. it to tangle. For your hard work, <coughs> it just tangles. trying to twist it to stop it from doing that. Sorry. It's okay. But twist it because I want to do your scalp and I don't want you to map. Mm. Does your hair snap easily? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like stretching in the loose. Yeah. Has it always been like that? Yeah. Okay. Always like that. It was worse when I was relaxed. But I can imagine because obviously yeah. relaxer is like yeah. When I was relaxed, oh, the harshest terrible. thing you can do to your hair is a relaxer. Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh wow. It looks so much healthier and fuller. Oh, wow. Can you see? Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> This is really nice. I feel like a woman. <laughs> you are a woman. <laughs>